looking to just get something going here. He's in a lot of pain. A bully now went from working on his arm to his leg. So Van Dam's leg. So big stakes right here. There are four slots that Hope Hogan, our general manager, oh! laid out here. And this is an opportunity to get one. This could be the opening right here for RVD. The big splash that missed by Bully Ray gets the momentum rolling. Coming off the ropes. A series of clotheslines. Back to back. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh, what a kick oh. right on the chin. That's that great flexibility, even with an injured leg. Now Van Dam peeled off that beautiful crescent kick. And now Rob trying to get his balance with that leg. Uh, oh, he landed oh. His, his plant leg. Oh, man, that was nasty. Watch out! There it is. His own version of the 3D. Doesn't need a tag team partner, does it solo. And then he gets the pin and the win. And he wins the first qualifier, does Bully Ray. Your That's winner, big right there. Bully Ray! That is big for Bully Ray. I mean, Bully Ray, obviously, well, bottom line, is he's just taking advantage of the injuries that Van Dam came into this match with from this past Sunday at Sacrifice. He landed on that plant leg from that high off kick from the top rope. That's what screwed up Rob, man. He landed hard on it. And Bully Ray is victorious to kick off Impact Wrestling. And Bully Ray has now filled one of the four spots for the Open Fight Night title match that's one week from tonight on Impact Wrestling. Well, tonight, the rebirth of one of the most intense rivalries in TNA history. Question is, which wrestler will qualify to get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship? That is still the come. And Taz, the newest member of the TNA roster, will be introduced when we recap the historic signing of MMA champion King Mo. Fully, you, you just beat RVD. What are you upset about? You know exactly why I'm pissed. I'm pissed at the Kardashians. Yeah, those three heifers, Courtney, Chloe, Heavy, whatever the hell their names are. Now they want to jump on the anti-bullying bandwagon? Those three? I'd like to see them come down here and try to stop me from bullying anybody. The I'm telling you right now, Park, this better be real freaking good. I'm here to apologize. I apologize for interjecting myself Sunday at Sacrifice, but you were going to cheat. I deal with cheaters for a living, Bully Ray, and you were gonna cheat. You know, my brother said something interesting the other day. You're getting too close to the fire. You're that fire, aren't you? You're that fire, aren't you? I'm giving you fair warning right now. Stay away from me. History was made last Thursday night in New York City when TNA President Dixie Carter, Bellator CEO Bjorn Brevny, and Spike President Kevin Kay announced the unprecedented signing of a two-sport star, a signing that garnered mainstream media coverage from the TV networks to USA Today. Well, I'll tell you, Mike, his name is King Mo. He was an outstanding collegiate wrestler at Oklahoma State for the Cowboys, and he currently possesses an excellent MMA record. TNA, Bellator, beware. Former Strikeforce light heavyweight champ, Muhammad Lawal, you know him as King Mo, has signed a deal to split his time between Bellator and TNA. This has never happened before. And joining us now to give us all the details, the man himself, King Mo. How you doing, King? Doing good, man. King ain't alone, though, because sitting along with us tonight, Bellator CEO Bjorn Rebney, and, of course, very popular TNA president, Dixie Carter. Guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Huge having announcement, us. of course. It's yeah. rocked the, both the wrestling world and the MMA world, because it's never happened before where a fighter decided to do both at the same time. King, why? You know, it's been a dream. You know, uh, that's why, and it's a great opportunity, and you know what? I'm doing it. Does any of it have to do with the fact uh, that things were not good between you and Zufa, considering the things that we'll get to a little bit later on in the show, or uh, no? Nah, you know what, the thing is that um, one door closed, and 
two doors open. So I've just jumped in two doors. You know and what I'm literally two doors did open. <laughs> so Bjorn, I go to you because you're the MMA guy here. I think wrestling fans will like it. We'll ask you about that in a second. Any concern at all that MMA purists will say, wait a minute, as much as we like TNA wrestling, it's not the real deal. And you may have some backlash against this move. I don't think so. I, I, you know what? Look, I've been an MMA fan for years. You're an MMA fan. MMA fans are very bright. They're very smart people. They, they hit.